I guess, Shazada here. Um, this is another guide uh, for the Chimo Smart Pro. So to transfer the files, there are a few ways to go. Uh, one, obviously, you need to have the ROMs uh, downloaded somewhere, so then you can transfer the files. The quickest and the easiest way is like, like normally, it's you'll need to take the SD card and then plug it in. But in this one, there is another way. So it doesn't matter if you're using the Crossmix or even on the the default OS itself it usually has that so okay we're gonna go to apps from here you will see something called usb storage okay when we see that we're gonna press okay okay so now you will see like the device itself becomes um, listed as a external drive on your machine and i'll show the next part on the my computer sign give me one second so let's switch over to the um, your device itself. When you press the USB storage mode, the device will be listed as another partition in your device, right? Or it'll be just listed on your computer. So what we'll need to do is, okay, we're gonna go to this drive. Uh, whenever you're updating to like a different firmware, uh, do make sure to like backup everything before that. The main folder is obviously uh, to backup is like one of the is like your ROMs folder. Other one is the best folder, which usually creates your arc, um, the arcade vertical uh, one. And then the, the, you can copy the settings or BIOS files as well. If you have different uh, BIOS files stored for let's say like PS1 or different uh, emulators. Anyways, so let's see, you can see that the, we are connected to the uh, device now itself is listed here. So you need to go to your ROM folders, wherever you, all the ROMs you have stored. In the device itself, you're going to go to ROMs. So when you go to the ROM folder, it is listed in a bit different uh, way. So now it might not be as simple or straightforward. It usually is or it was on the older OS itself. Uh, that you use the, the default one. So you just need to make sure you can just uh, look around. I think on the GitHub, there's a um, link which usually uh, lists you all the what are the names and what are the shortcuts in the Dreamer and the Crossmix uh, setup itself. Anyway, so in this one, I'm just going to show you like Saga 32X. We're going to go to that. So like now it says like it's empty, right? So we're going to go to Saga 32X. We're going to go to ROMs. Okay, we're going to copy and then we're going to paste here. Let's say I'm going to use TerraCopy. So it doesn't matter if you're using the Windows Explorer or if you're a different uh, application to copy. That's totally okay. So just use that. It will be copied over as you can see the, the files are copied over to your drive so like now when you go to roms folder you're gonna go to sega now it will be here to 32 yeah all the roms are here so do you need to make sure one you can uh on the rom just refresh roms when you go like on the device itself click on the menu and then refresh roms if you're still missing any of the roms you can go to the um, emulator cleaner which is an app already installed on the device itself and then it will refresh the list for you as well for all the emulators and it should show you if any in the previous emulators which were weren't showing because there was no um, games for that after transferring the games it should be listed as well so as you can see like my has around like 10 gigs left you do need to make sure on the storage like it doesn't matter if it's SSD, hard drive, you usually leave at least 10 to 20% of free storage. But because I copied from my default, uh, the, the SD card I got and I copied over. So there's only like now 100, um, uh, sorry, now it's only 10 gigs of storage space left. I need to make sure this stays there because your device itself do need some own storage as space itself as well. Yeah, that is it. If you have any questions, do let me know. That's it today. Take guys. Have a good day. Bye.